All right, so this is what we've got after shooting a three quarter inch mild steel with some 22s. You can see the uh, hits here, which while they look like dents, all it really is is uh, just a spot where the bullet took the paint off. There's absolutely no uh, pitting or indentation of any kind. And you actually wouldn't want that because this, the instant that this is no longer flat, you get an increased uh, chance of ricochet and, and other stuff that you don't want. So you want to make sure that you're shooting steel that's hard enough that uh, it doesn't bend or, or pit or warp or anything when you actually hit it. So um, 3 8 inch steel is fine for um, for 22s. And then since I hang them on a, on a, a peg or a screw or whatever, uh, they kind of free uh, float freely, I guess, when they get hit with, with what little inertia a 22 has against a plate that weighs, I don't know, this probably weighs at least 15 or 20 pounds. So um, since it is angled slightly downward, it makes it easy to retrieve the uh, remnants of the bullet here. So you see, this is basically where it's where it hits and ends up with something like that. It just hits and spreads out, and then um, basically just falls down to the ground. So, give you a look at these. It's pretty interesting looking. I'm not sure which side is the front and which side is the back. But, uh, I don't know. That's about it. Um, let's see, here's some. Some other just fragments of it that I found in the in the grass, but I don't know. It's kind of cool. Um, I try to shoot just exclusively lead bullets when I shoot at steel because, as you can see, the the steel or the lead flattens out really nicely. It's the uh, the jacketed stuff that you're going to potentially have problems with the, the jacketing part of it bouncing back. So um, if you're going to get into shooting steel, just make sure a, that you have something uh, hard enough for the caliber you're shooting. I probably wouldn't shoot anything better than 22 with, with this uh, mild steel, even though it's, uh, even if it was thick enough, you probably want something hardened like, um, 500. I think this is uh, I think this is like 34 or something. So it's not meant for anything uh, super crazy, but um, it is fun to shoot. And um, as you saw from uh, the bullets hitting it up close and, and some footage of me shooting it. So that's about it for steel uh, steel plates with 22. So thanks for watching.